Do you have low testosterone and wondering if that's causing infertility? Maybe you got a blood test back and you're thinking your low testosterone may lead to infertility. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to answer that question. We're going to look at the relationship between testosterone and fertility and how all those hormones are interrelated, what the correlations are, and what the causes are. So if you like this kind of information on hormones, health, nutrition, and you enjoy getting an expanded understanding of what's going on internally in your body, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at this question. Does low testosterone lead to infertility? Does low testosterone cause infertility? So the role of testosterone on fertility is both direct and indirect. So when you have low testosterone, it doesn't always equate to low sperm count, but your testes, the cells in the testes that make the sperm do need some testosterone in order to optimize the maturation process of those sperm. It's important to note though, that you don't need a high testosterone in order to produce sperm and that taking exogenous testosterone as an injection or topical will actually lead to decreased fertility. Let me explain a little more of the workings going on here so you can get a better understanding of what's going on. So the main stimulus for sperm and spermatozoa production is a hormone called FSH. FSH stands for follicle stimulating hormone, and it comes from the pituitary gland in your brain. This hormone stimulates those cells in the testes called the Sertoli cells to produce sperm and to enhance the spermatogenesis process. That FSH is oftentimes produced in conjunction with LH. That hormone stands for luteinizing hormone and it comes from the pituitary as well. The luteinizing hormone stimulates other cells in the testes known as Leydig cells and those Leydig cells produce testosterone. In a process known as secondary hypogonadism, the pituitary isn't producing enough of that LH and the testosterone production goes down. In this case, there's often low testosterone and low sperm count. In primary hypogonadism, there's plenty of LH, plenty of FSH, and in that case, the testes are not responding to the luteinizing hormone, but the testes probably are responding to the follicle stimulating hormone so that you end up with low testosterone, but normal sperm count. Whereas in secondary hypogonadism, you end up with low testosterone and sometimes low sperm count because whatever's interfering with the pituitary to produce the LH oftentimes is also interfering with the pituitary to produce FSH. So in primary hypogonadism, you may have plenty of sperm, but with secondary hypogonadism, you may not have enough sperm because of that decreased FSH. So does low testosterone cause infertility? The answer is no. Sometimes they are correlated, but it doesn't necessarily mean the low testosterone is causing the infertility. One of the primary reasons for getting secondary hypogonadism where the brain or pituitary isn't producing enough of that FSH and LH is stress levels. High cortisol can interfere with a lot of things going on internally in the brain and the nervous system, leading to low testosterone production and low sperm production. So the more stress, more cortisol, the lower these levels are and could lead to low testosterone and infertility. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of this question, does low testosterone cause infertility? What do you think? Does this help explain your question about low testosterone and infertility? Let me know in the comment section. If you do have any additional questions about this, drop that in the comment section as well. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.